Alright. Let's see what else we got. Spider-Man on Game Boy Advance. Well, this may not be too bad. I said that, and then I noticed, um... The release number on this one and remembered, oh yeah, this one came out amazingly early in the Game Boy Advance's life cycle and is, um, yeah, quality. Do a little bit of this, I suppose. <laughs> well, that was interesting. There, I wasn't sure if I could actually, you know, run upright. Good to know that we can. I will assume that all of these um, golden tokens are just for points and serve no other purpose. Oh, hey, this one, unlike the movie, actually, you know. This one, unlike the movie, has the uh, web as web cartridges instead of you know just um, what the hell did they call it in the movie? I already forget. It's been too long since I've watched the. Uh, I guess now we can call them the original movies instead of the reboot. There we go. Thank you. The organic webbing. Yeah, this feels like it wants to be both a platformer and a beat-em-up, but it's not really doing either aspect well. Like, Spider-Man is missing weight in both aspects there. Managed. There we go, finally. Also a little tiny bit lost as to, you know. No. Okay, there we go. <laughs> well that sure was essential. What? Why, why am I taking pictures? What, what, what's the purpose of taking pictures? Apparently this New Yorker just has a couple of super strength trampolines on their roof. Alright, and we have reached the end of the stage and only found two of the hostages. So that was the um being slightly lost thing that I mentioned and not really knowing where my objectives are. And I'm guessing... No, uh, no sort of... No sort of map or anything else like that. Ha ha ha! 
<laughs> well, that was some interesting timing about, um, you know, the explosion right on the nun. <laughs> Okay, so apparently, uh, your camera film sort of disappears if you don't take the picture while it's on the screen flashing. You only have the, uh, very... What? Oh, right, we're back at the trampolines. <laughs> yeah, um, with the pictures, you get your chance when you pick up the camera and then you just, I guess, toss the camera in a random garbage can if you don't take the picture immediately. Okay, so who is the boss here? Highly doubt that they will, you know, go the route of... How did I find a secret? Nothing, n nothing of what I did in that seemed like it was secret. Okay. <laughs> well, that's an interesting way to depict bullets. Right, I was trying to say a thing and sort of got sidetracked. Um, seriously doubt it will, you know, stick with the movie having just Green Goblin and the game will prob probably, <laughs> probably, uh, whoa. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Interesting. Probably add in other villains, much like, you know, pretty much all of the uh, Spider-Man games have done. And we ignore him? Yes, we can. Cool. Kinda curious why we even came into this, um, collapsing building in the first place, or why this, um, person who has opted to, um, destroy this building has left so many of his own goons in the building. I mean, you know, the whole non-caring villain thing is one thing, but, you know, massive misuse of your resources there. Especially when you know there is a superhero involved. I kind of want to keep as many of your goons alive as you can. Well, alive and not in jail. Health over there. Oops, it's not, um... Sure. What? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I didn't see. So I love how uh, half of them are, oh no, like three quarters of them are dudes in suits, and then the rest are just hillbillies with massive beer guts. Kind of some interesting um, hiring there on your tuning. worried about the help. Gotta be, uh, you know, really close to the end here, I'd assume. Oh, jeez, they're gonna give us a freaking maze, which has dead ends here during this scene. That is just awful design. Ah, oh, jeez, that is amazingly awful design right there. Do the shield web? What good is a shield web going to do me against collapsing building? It's uh, not 
massively overshoot. Uh, what down? Yeah, going down here. And then, um. Yeah. Only just noticed that one of our attacks on the Monopia there is Kreesh. Really have to be getting close to the end by now. Like how much further can this go on for how many stories tall? Is this particular building? Okay, so we've taken all three pictures. Assuming that there's only... No, no, I missed a... What? Okay. okay, there we go, finally. Oh, it's Vulture! Okay. <laughs> wow, it's, um... Some attack you got there, Vulture. Seem like the most effective way to carry that out. So I don't think vultures go in for the whole grab their prey, carry it up, and then drop it down thing. That's more of a bird of prey thing, like, you know, falcons and eagles and the like. Whereas the vultures just go after the stuff that's already dead. Now that we have this figured out, it's um, a little bit less than difficult here, but I guess it is. You know, the first boss doesn't really have to be super difficult. And now I can't stop seeing all the creches. Like, Pow and Biff, they, they, they work. Boom works to a slightly lesser extent. Thwack is perfectly fine. is Kreesh supposed to be? I wonder who they're gonna get. Could it be the guy who goes by the name Hunter? Yeah, I have to admit, this is, um... This is kinda cool. For Game Boy Advance, this is, uh... Interesting. Don't know if it's something I would consider good, but it is at least pretty different and not something they often tried for, you know this platform. Arrow seems to get, um, confused easily, though. Also having a tough time telling where I am in regards to, you know, the other buildings, like the ones that we've already passed.
Whoa, now. And that's me splatting into a building. Keep in mind, we are Spider-Man, not George of the Jungle. Grab that, but then uh, sure, we'll, we'll go with that. Oh, yeah, that's a building. That, that is um, not a place we want to be. Uh, Swinging towards. Okay. Again, I think this arrow is getting confused. Who it was that set up these, um, you know, balloon bombs in the first place? So they don't really seem to be, you know, targeting anything. They just seem to be in the middle of the sky between the skyscrapers. Which, if they explode, it doesn't seem like they do much damage to anything. I think we can call it good there. Let's just see what one of these... Yeah, that would be one of the containers. Oh, and this time they're using flame girls. <laughs> we will end it there on one final creep. This has been, um, the very first Spider-Man game released on the Game Boy Advance. There will be a number more of these. I think there were like three more of these or something like that. There's at least two more of these, so um... Yeah, um, this one is not really good in any fashion. This has been, um, very generic and underwhelming. Very good animation, um, music is okay. The platforming and beat-em-up aspects don't feel all that enjoyable or, you know, really well designed. And just the stages in general feel eh. So, yeah, I really would not recommend this one. There are just so many better Spider-Man games out there that you can be playing instead of this one. And yeah, I also, as well, like the, uh, skull in the grenade explosions that I noticed that back in the first stage. Uh, Nice little touch for that. I also like how we can just be here and not be hit at all. But, you know, I guess they can't really have um, too much space for enemy AI if it uh, is in its little pattern of how it throws and it can't really do anything else. We could run out the timer without uh, actually being killed here, but that would take way too long, so let's not bother with that. 